some real quick environmental fun. We're gonna shoot a real fast video, hopefully 60 seconds, show you some environmental conditioning the fun way. When you know you're dealing with a real country dog in a real country place. So you got side by side, you got a golf cart, you got some other hillbilly shit, I don't know, but you need your dog to load up. So you gotta be able to tell him. Get in the box, stay in the box. Go around a little bit. Ah, good boys. Keep him motivated at all times, okay? So again, conditioning, environmental exposure. Now, why do I have a tug? It's not really so much for drive, it's actually for my own protection. If I have this tug, and this little guy kicks in the drive, it's gonna target the tug. Can't bite it right now, I'm gonna correct it. But if I don't have a tug and he kicks in the drive, he's liable to target my arm. So, my protection. Now it's one thing to jump into the back of a side-by-side -side or onto a forward, no big deal. This is a Ram 2500 Power Wagon. This truck is very high, okay? Um, is it a big deal? No, to jump over this truck. Any dog can do it. But it's in them or it's not. You'd be surprised how many dogs will not jump into a bed of a truck like this, especially from just a sitting with very little drive and very little motivation. Of course, we could put somebody in a bite suit or a sleeve or some other silly thing in the back of the truck and boom, the dog does crazy things. But do it without that drive. Yeah, come up, come on, Cast from one to the other, keep the dog motivated, okay? Good. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Yep. Up, up. Bravo. 